Hey guys! Hey, welcome back to GDP Gene. Guess what we are playing? We are playing oldie, but well, no, I shouldn't say oldie. Old, well, oldie old for the channel. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, one of my uh, first, uh, well, like actual episodic record. Yeah, nice job, bro. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, wait, yeah. which team are you? Um, I'm on the, oh, red, on the red team. team. We, we won! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, we just we literally just joined this That's game. Cool. No, we didn't. We've been playing for hours. <laughs> okay. That match lasted forever. Well, I guess we're going to start this one as the uh, the dinosaur team, dino team then. Cool. So this game actually got a pretty hefty update in the last, uh, what, month or two? Yes, in the last yeah. month or two. But, I mean, they've continued development on this oh, yeah. for a, a um, while. When did we play this game? It was like... June. June of 2015? Yep. Man, it feels so, so long ago. Yeah, I know. Um, I think this is back when I still had my long hair. Um, but no, this this game we've we've heard that they've continued to really update and work on the game. Uh, immediately, the first thing I'm noticing is that the art and the um, the graphics look oh, there's been amazing, a huge graphics. Everything overall. looks fantastic. One of the things I guess that they did work on that we had sort of pointed out was that the pounce animation for the raptors. They're working on making it look. They're they're working on making it look a little bit different and a little bit um, better, um, mm. but one Just of the like things more natural. yeah oh this guy a is more screwed. Natural. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, uh, um, did you get booted? Right, I'm a human now. You got booted. No, uh -oh. I think uh, they probably had too many. Oh, got it. Too many dinosaurs. Some, some sort of balance just happened. I think that's fine because I mean uh, the dinos have eleven points. The humans have one. And uh, uh, I imagine uh, what happened was that the game. Oh, there's it another one. Oh, the there's a third one. Ooh. Wow. That's, yeah, you I were. Think that's that's kind of a good balance, though. I think if you're, the points get so far out of ratio, mm. um, I think it is better to like force players, some players, to jump to the other team for sake of uh, yeah, making for sure balance. that the game is actually still fun and fair. Yes, uh, that is always my complaint about uh, first-person shooters online matches and stuff. Yeah, is I, that game balancing in terms of it should not just be in terms of party size which is a very important thing but for me it's also about rank too um, if you've got like five prestiges on the other team and you've got like players like me who, who just play the game for fun and don't like min like com are, they aren't completionists and they just kind of enjoy themselves it's not going to be a fun match yeah and I, I really can't say I've seen too many multi or multiplayer first-person shooter games that really force you to change sides. I could be wrong, and, and that might not have been what actually happened here. It could have been, like, whoever is hosting this did that. Mm -hmm. um, but if it is, I actually... I personally think that's a good idea. Um, maybe players that more regularly play games like this would disagree, but yeah. I don't know. I'm actually curious to see what people think about that. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, wow. you got eaten. Uh, yeah, it's you pretty safe to say. It's pretty safe to say that not that I was great at this game when we first played it, um, but you know, since June, I yeah. have only gotten worse. Yeah. So he was playing for like a, a solid like twenty minutes, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, what happened? I just suck. I just suck." Oh. Yeah. That looked like a. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like that they're using ragdoll, um, <laughs> but. That animation of you dying was basically like the funniest face plant I'd ever seen in my that's, life. That's why I love ragdoll physics. Yeah, yeah. ragdoll they're, physics are great. Almost always funny. Yeah. Uh, so we definitely just saw a little bit of the collision issues that we mentioned last time, and I think um, one of the developers commented on. Yes. That. Actually, one of the things that they mentioned is that uh, they're really trying to to fix it as much as they can. However, it's issues like that in a game like this are they're just going to be constant and that's not i mean i i respect them for for trying to work on it did they did they point out that it's also just an unreal engine yeah, yeah uh, it's an unreal art, engine artifact. free yeah and that's that's one of the downsides of using pre-existing engines i think is that it's very very hard to yeah. uh, work around those issues yeah. did i just get slapped by a pterodactyl I yep don't know, there but he is. you just got picked up by oh, a pterodactyl boy, Derek. it's not making fun of me oh oh oh, oh. Ooh, Who knew that when you landed from a high height, you who blood? This is well particle effects, but I yeah. know. And I, I, that was the. We're gonna go ahead and do Pathfinder. I I tried Sorry. Pathfinder off screen, and I had a harder time with him than I did the first time. Which is weird because actually, when we were first playing this, you played first, and you like turned and headshot a raptor right in the face, and it was actually really impressive. 
You mean today? No, this is like oh, back oh, in June. Back. I actually watched uh, a little bit of the our original playthrough today. I'm not vain, I promise. <laughs> well, it's good to to watch our old yeah. stuff just to see what we did right and wrong. Um, yeah. I mean, this this game seems. I think it's in very a very fluid state of design. So they're constantly rebalancing things, especially when they're adding new stuff. That's actually something oh, else that they uh, they did mention is that it's it's. It, I guess we had thought it was an early access back then. It's actually not. This is a full release, and they are just continually patching it mm -hmm. and updating it and, I, I and having think, I think on Steam it might have been categorized as early access at the time um, there's already four commandos that's probably why you can't be him oh that's right I forgot that yep. that's what that number Team represents balancing which I really do appreciate All I right, think that's awesome <laughs> I like this guy a lot actually I, I have a harder time with him now than I did back then but nice knife attack knife attack knife attack I don't think there is a knife attack that, that was one of the things that they actually mentioned is that oh, if you it? net a Dino, and you go up with a knife. It's a uh, one-hit kill. So okay, I wonder if it's. It probably will not work for the T-Rex. I'm just gonna put that out there. Well, okay. So the net gun. We, we discovered this in our last playthrough too, but the net gun uh, covers his mouth. Oh, that's right. So it prevents him from being able to bite. It doesn't kill him, but. Right. It it still, you know, disrupts him a little bit, which mm -hmm. is good. It's it's good for team synergy, and that's I think I like, one of the things I really like about the diversity of classes in this game, um, because they're built for synergy. Yeah. And kind of like we said in our last playthrough, um, there's sort of that like kind of rock paper scissors system going on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, I think it, it's still present in a very good way. Why would you get his attention? You're alone. Uh, I have a net gun. I think the net gun captures. That this does guy. not help the alone part of my uh, argument. I have a net gun. What else? I'm a professional. Gun is my friend. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh boy, yeah, that did not end well. So, uh, <laughs> for those who are curious, uh, because I for sure have not let go of the vendetta. Um, I plan on mastering the pterodactyl. <laughs> it will happen. I promise. Yeah, we, we I played a little bit of him before we started recording, and he's still very hard to control. Um, but oh. I, I think it is that high tier, like high, um, like if you figure it out, you can do really cool yeah. stuff with the pterodactyl. That is still so, uh, like not a work in progress, but that is still something that they're working on. They're trying to find a more intuitive way uh, to play the pterodactyl, um, and maybe making him a little bit him or her it uh, a little bit slower, um, so it's easier to control, but. I feel like if you make him slower, then it's an easier target. Um, but still, that being said, they they do understand that you know the pterodactyl is quite a difficult beast to master, at least for me. Absolutely. Well, I think all multiplayer online games need to have kind of that those things that are for every skill level. Um, oh, yeah. And this is something that Call of Duty actually was very successful in. Part of the reason why that online multiplayer got so popular oh. because, um, like. I don't know if you've ever played Call of Duty, I, I or at least Modern that. Warfare. Yep. So there, there's something that the the player base would oh. well, oh god, by a flaming dinosaur no less. Um, there's something that the players went way way back. I don't know if they still call it this, but there was the noob cannon, um, or the noob tube, I think it was, and it was basically a grenade launcher on oh, an assault yeah. rifle. Yep. Um, so the reason why that's actually a really good thing to have in a game like that is because. It's good for low skill players, so it, mm -hmm. it helps balance the field just enough to allow them to get some kills in. Woo. The unfortunate thing, Damn however, it. is the level of uh, oh, anger oh, that you come across friend, whenever you, you are a new player on a game like that. Yeah, I saw that. That sucked. <laughs> um, that's that's just a community issue, though. That's not something game related. I think that's cool that they have that as an option for new players. But I think the uh, anger that goes with going up against people like that, that a lot of experienced players... Well, uh, it, it frustrates them because it's a game-balancing system. So yeah. they feel like they, they die to it in an unfair manner. But the, here's the thing. Those highly skilled players, they still do a better job than the new players do. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, I'd say... Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's really still a good thing to have. And the oh, thing yeah. is, too, is that those skilled players still have the option of using the noob tube. Um, they just choose not to. 
Right. Um, and so, like, I agree. It's unfortunate that it's frustrating for those skilled players, but it's necessary if you want that online community to thrive. Yeah. You have to always have an open door to new and lower skilled players. Right. Otherwise, it, your game becomes full of only high skilled players, and then suddenly nobody wants to play it because the, they just turn, the they just go online to get killed a whole bunch. Yeah. The the threshold to entry is way too. Whoa! You tried really hard there. Yeah, I did. Applaud your effort. Oh, your arm was there. All right, I'm gonna change characters. Sounds good. What the heck is he doing? I think he's oh, he's eating like... more. Oh, that's oh, right, he's... because they gain health whenever they eat. Yeah, I, I still like that system. Oh, I do too. So what's some of the other feedback that we got from the developers in the... Uh, um, one of the things that they did mention was that our analysis of the free mode was on point. The reason they have that there is for... Oh, you mean, you mean the role-playing mode? Yeah. Because there is it's a free well, roam there, mode, well, too. That's what, what I'm talking about. Is that oh, okay. um, you can have a role-playing server, but then the free mode can be just everybody getting together and doing whatever the hell they want. Mm -hmm. And I think that's awesome. I think that uh, offers a lot for people who don't necessarily like playing in a competitive online environment. People who just want to dick around and like, hey, what's me do a backflip? It's a pterodactyl. Like, <laughs> you know, that's the shit I would do. I think that oh, would be absolutely. fun. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, they, they did approve of us, uh, of our little analysis of that that uh, mode. And I still think it's really cool. That's something that I've really never seen in, a, in an online first-person shooter yeah. game. Um, and the fact that Primal Carnage has something that something like that that players actually want to participate in. That's, oh yeah. That's awesome. That's really it's cool. It's a really cool thing for their community. And that's awesome. How long do you want to go? Ten minutes. Ten? All right, well, so if, if that's the case. Well, that's all we got for this episode, but don't worry. Yeah, we will be playing this for a couple more episodes. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do gonna this for this a little bit. We're going to show this game some love. Uh, what's our question of the day? Um, uh, okay, actually, I have one. Go for it. So we, we played this game way back in June. Um, compared to what you see now to what the game looked like back then, what are what are your, some of your like first impressions and the differences? Um, I don't know. Does, that I mean, works. I works. Like, I was already blown away when we jumped into this. I thought everything yeah. looked, you everything know... Everything looked a lot more polished and a lot more, um... I don't want to say finalized, but... Refined. Yes, thank you, refined. Yeah, oh! I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, God! That was not so Help much. me, friend, help me, friend, help All me, right. friend, help me, friend! Well, uh, friend, we'll post no. the question of the day down below. <laughs> Go ahead and comment with your answer, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cool, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.